Yo YouTube, what's going on? This is Hypershadow92 here and today I'm bringing uh, a discussion video out here to you guys for the upcoming new world that's coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So I just wanted to get my thoughts and on uh, what I think is possibly going to be happening for when this update drops for the new world that's coming out. As you know from uh, from our information that we got from Duel Links just a couple of days ago, for late September, massive update incoming. The door to the new world is going to open in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Issue with certain card text. Personally, you know this is 100% the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal world is coming to Duel Links. Because um, if you remember from watching the anime, when Yuma is in his dream in the very first episode of Zexal, he comes to this giant door that we, what we finally uh, learn about what his purpose is and where it goes to as the anime continues to go down with his story. And I personally 100% think that it is referencing that first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal involving the that door that you must sees and the issue with certain card text uh another thing i personally think on the situation is i think they're referencing this to the xyz monsters that that's in Yu-Gi-Oh! zexel because the cards are completely different from synchros from how you bring them out with their overlay units I believe that is what that part is referencing there. But the rest of the stuff is I want to talk about is, um, you know, my predictions for the world itself and what we could possibly see and what, you know, that kind of stuff. For character wise, you know, we're going to see Yuma. He's going to be um, the day one launch. He's the main protagonist of Zexel. So, you know, we're getting. Yuma. So the characters I'm thinking that we're probably going to see for the day one launch of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, you know we're getting Yuma. We, I think we could be seeing Tori, Bronk, Flip Turner, and uh, Shark. But uh, and uh, you know, but Kite, I believe they are going to sit where they're going to wait and throw Kite at us as unlockable through a future event like how they did with Jack Atlas for the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds world. And another thing is for prediction wise, when you remember when GX and 5Ds worlds launched, we got like, if I'm remembering it correctly, we got uh, maybe, I think it was five characters in total that we got on day one launch, but when uh, the DSOD world was launched for us, when we when back in the day when the dark for when that world came out, we only got three characters at launch for the DSOD world, and I'm thinking personally if they're trying to change the numbers up a bit from being five characters for both GX and 5D's worlds, and then they. Uh, they decrease us to three for the DSOD world. Personally, maybe we uh, might see uh, maybe four characters at launch. If we're lucky, they'll give us four to five characters, but they also could go down the road to only give us three characters. So my predictions for what characters we could see is either going to be Yuma, Tori, Bronk, Flip, Turner, and Shark, or they could go down the road and only give us Yuma, Tori, Flip, Turner, and Bronk, and, and go either way. But I'm thinking it's either going to be just those two that I'm listing the three to four, maybe four to five. I'm I'm more leaning on maybe we probably might get four characters basically. But that's it for the characters of what I think is going to happen for them. And for the cards, for some cards, I know they're going to be like too powerful for how Duel Links' ways is set up for dueling because 4,000 life points for, for Duel Links and then up this end we have our 8,000 life points 
for the actual card game, Yu-Gi-Oh! itself. Another thing, like some XC's monsters is not going to be in game like until they think they're ready for it. But then, for example, the Red Eyes XC's monster, like the one I run in my Dark Magician Girl deck that I showed on the channel here before in one of my deck profile videos, I, cards like that, I highly doubt that it's going to be in the game anytime soon when, whenever Zexal World comes out for us. Because uh, its effect is whenever your opponent uh, activates an effect or a, uses a card's effect, you automatically inflict like 500 points of damage on your opponent. And um, for how Duel Links is, you could easily cripple your opponent to where they can't hardly play anything with how the life points is 4,000 compared to our TCG 8,000 Yu-Gi-Oh card game life points. It, I mean, it's it would be too powerful for either of us to just make uh, decks of involving around it to get it out as quick as we can to then just uh, try and cripple the opponent where they just can't physically do anything without damaging themselves. So cards like that, as I think, is probably not going to be in the game itself. But, I mean, it's possible that they could introduce th those kind of cards later on down the road. I mean, look how, how long it took us to get uh, Dark Cavalry and Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. Both of their card effects are, are like, super useful if you run them in the deck. And... And they are, and, and they finally came out a, 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 a while after the Intel Worlds was either already out, or if they thought it was time for the cards to finally be added, because they just kind of can Konami kind of just genuinely worked up to where they thought what cards we needed now, or in which cards we didn't for at the time being. So, I mean, basically, this is just my opinion on what I think we're going to see for when the Zexal world actually drops in late September for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. But I just wanted to go ahead and like put one, another one of these discussion videos out just to see how how well they do for the channel. And if, if, um, if everyone here likes the discussion videos for games and even just discussion videos in general, I might actually wind up doing some more of them. But but today I just wanted to go ahead and just make a, a discussion video for what I think we're going to be seeing when the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal World drops in late September. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I have um, some things. I have to continue what I'm working on at, at home tonight. And I'm, hopefully I can get this this uh, up sometime tonight, maybe tomorrow. Uh, we'll just see how that goes for when it gets uploaded but other than that i just wanted to, to give you guys my thoughts on what we could be seeing for the zexal world and hopefully we will see more information for when the igami unlock event comes out for the dsod world and maybe they might add some more juicy leaks in the game files but for zexal world but we'll just have to wait and see what's gonna happen this Friday for when those leaks actually get revealed. But other than that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. And until next time, this is HyperShadow92, and I'll catch you guys next time because I'm signing out. Peace.